Hello there, today we are gonna create a website that looks similar to Facebook. I mean exactly similar except branding. Let's call it as media book and we are gonna make this design using HTML and CSS only. Don't worry if you are a beginner, I will be explaining everything along. And at last we are gonna host it for free so that you can easily share it with your friends or just add it into your portfolio. So let's quickly look at the demo then we will discuss the process of creating this. I really hope that you like the demo. Now let's get straight to the point. Mainly I have divided this website into 4 parts. The first one is navbar where we will be having a logo, source box and some icons for navigation. Then we will be making a left panel that just has a bunch of services listed. Then we will be moving towards the main part where we will be having stories and option to create post and some posts that make content text images or both. At last we will create the right panel which contains the list of pages you own and people you are friend with. And notice when I scroll down only our middle panel is moving rest of them are just sticking on the window. And you can even scroll certain panels only. Now let's go ahead and create this awesome website. So here is an empty project which contains bunch of images that we are gonna use today and I'll be providing all the links to the images down below and these are the images that I'm gonna use some of them are logo some of them are normal jpg files and I'm gonna provide all these files in the description and for this video I'm gonna be using live server extension so come in here and just search for live server extension and install if you haven't installed yet you will see a install button right here just click and install or you will see a install button like this in here so just click and install and it's gonna install for you so I have already installed it and I'm gonna close this so let's go back to our file and here I'm gonna create uh, two files that's obviously gonna be index.html file and another will be style dot css file uh, so we are going to open up our this html file with live server so we need not to reload this file again and again when we make any changes so that's gonna be handled by the live server extension itself so just go and install the live server extension i hope you already have that one and here let's create a boilerplate normal boilerplate with exclamation mark and it's gonna give us this boilerplate html boilerplate for starting up and here i'm gonna say facebook oh, sorry we are not actually going to do facebook clone we are just creating a, a modified version of facebook that's called media book yeah <laughs> that's the modified version of facebook and let's uh, open up uh, this file with live server so it's our website that's gonna be opened up by live server and here we have our empty project so here what i just want to do is i want to use my own air fab icon instead of this internet logo or kind of earth logo i'm gonna use my own logo so for that I'm gonna be using link property and in here I have this fab icon so click on this and it's gonna give us this and in here uh, inside of my images directory I have one logo.jpg file so I'll recommend using fab icon.ico file but right now I have logo.png file so I'm gonna use that I'll be providing all the images in the description below and feel free to use your own files also and in here you can see that we have our own fab icon here so after that what we are going to do is pretty much uh, all the steps related to creating our structure in the html file 
so first of all we are going to create our nav bar so i'm gonna create a nav element inside this i'm gonna have uh, three sub elements called the nav first or nav left kind of thing yeah, nav left and then i'm gonna copy it two time and paste that two time and here i'll be having middle middle and here it will be right one so i'll be grouping up the elements in here so inside of our nav left i'm going to insert an image in here that's basically our logo now i have kept that inside of images and it's logo.png all text i'm gonna give it as logo and beneath that i want to create a search box so searching for user for that i am going to use an input element with a type of text so i am creating i don't need any name property here name attribute here and i don't want that id also i just want to create one placeholder that will say search media book that's it with our shorts box and logo so this looks kind of weird now but we are going to install this in a while so let me just quickly link our style sheet in here so i'll be using link again and css and it's gonna link our style sheet that's style.css and let's go inside our style.css so we don't have any styles yet so I'm gonna do quick styling here that's a uh, default I'm removing the default margin margin 0 padding will be 0 now I'll be setting the box sizing box sizing to border box and after that I'll be using font family yes I'm not going to play with font family I'll be using a similar font family throughout the whole video so i will be using sans serif feel free to use any of the fonts available in google fonts or any other websites and let's see how it looks like in the browser okay it doesn't look such much different from the previous one but some different has been occurred there and after that uh, we can see here we have some logo going on in here and we are going to insert this icon sorry i misspelled that it's icon so these icons i'm gonna be using these icons so what i'll be doing is um, i'll be using font awesome library for that icon so and you can see that uh, i have used that logo from flat icon you you can just download this from this link and right now i'll be using the font awesome library so i'll be using the cdn in here i'm going to copy the uh, copy the link tag by clicking in here and you can see the link here or i'll be providing the link in the description below obviously don't you need not to worry about all of these things and just i copied that link tag and i'm gonna paste that here on top of this yeah i'm gonna paste it here yeah i'm using the uh, font awesome library 5.15.4 version and after this nothing is really gonna happen here uh, but i can now use the icons from font awesome so after nav uh, left i'll be going inside nav middle so let me do some formatting here after nav left i'll be going inside nav middle and here i'm gonna create an anchor tag inside it uh, i'll not be re redirecting to anywhere you can just redirect it to slash home or slash feed or sl anywhere i'm not redirecting anywhere so i'm going to use hashtag in there beneath it or inside it i'm gonna use i with the class of fa for our font or some library in fa and dot fa uh, and that's gonna be home so this is gonna give us that home icon so let's see uh, do we get the home icon yeah we got this home icon here 
likewise we can just copy this and paste it for few times for four times yeah and what i'll be doing is i'll be changing this to users um let's see that how it looks like okay it's um, actually users for the groups and user friends for the friends and here i'll be using the watch phase or play circle i hope this is the correct one so how this looks like yeah these are the correct ones and i have those unique logos uh, unique icons in here so i every time miss a spell it and i'll be copying this one again and i'll be moving inside the nav right and pasting this for two times again we will be needing this one also and in here i'll be needing a profile image so i'm gonna give it a class of profile here so inside this profile i'm gonna place my profile image or any user's profile user that it's gonna that the user is using so here it will be el l i p s ellipse and ellipse dash h and in here it's gonna be f a it's gonna be i think um ring or something like that okay it's gonna be bell so i have forgot all the classes in here yeah bell is the right one this is the class that you are going to need to use that um, three dots in there so we got our three dots also so let's style this whole nav bar quickly so we are going inside our style.css in here uh, inside our body we are not really going to do anything or this don't toss the body for now i'll be directly moving inside the nav part and in here i'll be having the height of 70 pixel and it will be having width of 100 percent and after that i will be giving the padding of uh, really one rem zero from top and bottom and one rem from left and right after that i'll be giving it a display of flex so that the contents will be in the same line like this so we have our all contents in the same line although the size of this all uh, icons and images is not same yet but we're gonna make it and align items so uh, do i need to say align item center should i don't think so so let's just quit it and here i'll be using justify content justify content will be space between obviously so let's see how this looks like okay all of the, of the contents are now in their own position after that i'll be moving inside my uh, top or it was like uh, what was it it was nav left so i have given the nav left class in here and what it will be having is it is gonna be having the display of of course flex and then after align items so i just want to align the items vertically center so i'll be using align items center now let's save this and come inside in here so our uh, items has been centered and this image is kind of overflowed and um, here so let's resize our image copy this one come here and let's just directly target our image so inside our html file you can see that we have our image inside of our uh, nav left um, nav left diff, uh, diff so we can directly target our image so it is a direct child so we can directly and directly target our image in there and i'm gonna give it a height of 50 pixel and 
width of 50 pixel so same height and same width yeah like this okay I think it is uh, more than I thought so I think 40 pixel 40 pixel is sufficient okay after that uh, I'll be targeting my input element and I'll be just uh, installing it really quickly height will be 40 pixel yes obviously and width uh, I think I'm not gonna define width so instead I'll be using padding in here and padding will be I'll be using 5 pixel from top and bottom and 10 pixel from left and right and after that I'll be having a border yeah I don't want any border in there and border radius of course I want curved border uh, so what I mean by curved border so here is this uh, kind of sharp border in here so we just don't want that sharp border in there so I just want curved border in there so I'll be using here 25 pixel yeah that's gonna make it there after this I don't want outline so what does it mean by outline so whenever I focus in this uh, um, input element or source box so what does it mean by focus focus means I'm clicking in this uh, uh, source box um, so it's gonna give us uh, give us uh, something border like a thing so that's actually considered as outline as an outline so I just don't want outline so let's save this and look how this looks like okay this looks cool but um, one thing I just want to do is I just want to change the background uh, color so background color will be of course this color so it's slightly darker than the white background and uh, I'll be giving white background color uh, so let's copy this one and I'll be giving white background color to my nav so let's paste this one and sorry it's white background actually so white is considered as FFF so hex code of uh, white is excess uh, FFF and I recommend you to use this FFF cause it's gonna create some problem in a while and I have already used the FFF so it's not gonna create problem for me but um, of course it's gonna create problem for you and you are gonna be in trouble if you don't use FFF because the nav bar is gonna be get transparent once you have the contents in underneath it so that's it what I wanted to tell you and I just wanna have a margin uh, from the left and margin from the left is actually 10 pixel I think 10 pixel is um, the good one good measurement so let's see how this looks like now and inside in here yeah it looks kind of cool so one thing I realize is that um, when we have uh, or when we give our width uh, we don't need to give our uh, height property in there so I'm just gonna remove one property from there and it's gonna make our code more efficient and it's not gonna create the whole bunch of uh, lines of code uh, okay we have really reduced one line of code here and after that I just want to target my nav middle and inside in here what I want to have is of course display flex and I just want to align all the items to the end uh, align items to the flex and show what does this mean by flex in that uh, all the items will be coming underneath so they will be coming uh, on the bottom of our nav bar so in here I'm going to give it a box shadow so that will be uh, looking at our end point or uh, here we can see that we have this uh, uh, kind of shadow that doesn't looks like a shadow but there is the uh, shadow that's the separation or border point between our main contents and nav bar so shadow just don't want the 
x offset i want to one pixel y offset and three pixel of blur and after that i will be using this color so it's called 333 now this looks like okay this um doesn't look cool so i think i'm gonna be using uh, ccc instead yeah this looks kind of cool now so what i was saying is that uh, all the icons uh, uh, i have used are going to be on the bottom here so that's what i was trying to say and of course we don't want those all icons uh, to be stick in here in the bottom so for that i'll be of course i'll be giving here the padding from bottom of uh, not more than 5 pixel so still it's gonna be sufficient for now after that i'll be targeting our nav middle and inside nav middle i'll be targeting our icons or let's just target our link so i'm gonna remove the text decoration and set it to non so that we will not be getting our underline beneath our logo or that uh, so called icons and after that uh, text decoration non uh, what we just want to do is I just wanna change the color to let's change it to 333 and how this looks like so let's see okay that's kinda cool uh, and I'll be giving here of course padding padding of 10 pixel and I'll be giving here the margin also so margin I'll not be giving the margin so I have given the padding of 10 pixel from all sides but margin will be from uh, left and right side only so 10 pixel from left and right side only not from top and bottom so this uh, uh, okay these um, icons looks cool so uh, let's copy this one and paste this one again in here instead of a i just want to give it a, a active in here so why i'm using active in here when we are in the home feed we want this home to be look as blue so it will be styled in a blue color and and we should be getting a blue underline beneath it so here we have this icon which is uh, styled in the bluish color so we just want to do that for that um, i'll be changing the color our uh, color to basically a uh, royal blue i'll be using here the royal blue color to change there so when i save it and come back it's nothing is gonna happen because uh, i haven't given um, active class to any of the elements in here and i'm gonna give active class to this element so here i'll be adding uh, class property and class will be active since we are in the home page right now so i'm using uh, i'm giving the active to the home icon so if you are in the users or friends um, page then you can just uh, copy this one from here and or cut this that one from here and paste in here so i'm currently inside the home page so i'm not going to do that and here you can see that we have our style icon there and here we can see that our icon looks uh, kind of small there so let me hide this panel from here and in here i'm gonna target our icon there so nav it was middle and inside our anchor tag we have our i element and i'm gonna just target the font size of this to 25 pixels so i'm gonna basically in increasing the font size so the size of the icons is now enlarged and uh, uh, in here i just want to create a line underneath this home icon uh, so in order to say that it's uh, active so let's copy this one come here paste this one and i'll be using here this pseudo element uh, after and instead of color i'm gonna use 
background color in here the same color will be used as a background color in here and yeah i'll be having of course you need to give it a content so content is null for now and position will be absolute and it will be on the bottom so it's gonna be let me spell it right okay bottom zero so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be sticking on the bottom and left will be of course zero and then what i just wanna do is i just wanna give it a position of uh, sorry position of relative in here so because we have uh, given the position of absolute in here so that's the reason why we need to give it the position of relative in there right now we are not able to see our uh, underline or some kind of uh, highlight in there because we really need to give it a width so width is gonna be 100 percent and height is gonna be like a five pixel so how much uh, height is gonna be okay it's i think uh, not that better so i'm gonna basically decrease the height to three pixel and i think uh, it's a nice one than previous one and we are done with our half of our neighbor and we are now moving towards these icons styling the, those icons is also similar uh, so those icons are on the nav left uh, no that's that's um, those are on the nav right so i'm going to copy this here and i'll be using same style here so i will be pasting the same thing in here so paste in here so let me expand this one uh, instead of left i'll be using here the right so let's save this and let's look at in here yeah they are perfectly centered in there uh, i just wanted to center those things so i have used that and in here i just wanna I collapse this because uh, I don't need and I don't want to show that I have this amount of code and I just don't want to do that so I'm going to collapse the code I am not really using right now so let me collapse this all and underneath it I'm gonna be styling the nav right yeah you heard it right we are gonna be installing the nav right in here so we are first going to install our bell icon so before that or oh sorry we are just going to install our this profile where it has gone okay it's here this profile so let's copy this class and come here paste this one and i'm gonna be using here the avatar so i'm gonna use the background here first of all background image i'll be using background image with the url and uh, i have background image from my images folder um, i have previously specified this dp.jpg for our users avatar and after that i need to give it a height so in order to just in order to be visible it's gonna be having 30 pixel of height and width of 30 pixels so let's see how this looks like mm, that's gonna be sorry okay let's save this come here okay this is kind of weird we are not able to see our images proper image properly so why is it happening there because the image is uh, very large and that's high resolution image although I have compressed it but uh, that's uh, high resolution image so I have to specify here the background size to cover so it's gonna be covering up or it's gonna be perfectly in the frame and I don't want that easy thing a rectangular square box here or it's actually square box so I don't want to have a square box in there so i'm obviously going to give it a border radius of 50 percentage so it's gonna be perfectly rounded here after that uh, i just wanna style our icons there 
so let me just do this let me remove the text decoration so I am just using the same code again and again instead of you uh, just uh, using the same code means uh, I'm just uh, duplicating the same code so data redundancy is happening here color hmm. I'm gonna be giving it a color of uh, yeah 333 is gonna be the color uh, there so in here I'll be uh, targeting my uh, logos uh, or icons sorry every time I is myself I spell that I don't know why this happens I just want to give it a, a font size of 16 pixel let me see how this all looks like okay font size of 16 pixel is I think quite small so as you can see in here um, we have this rounded border or surrounded parent element uh, this uh, this is uh, the we have this rounded icon in here so we just want to achieve that same thing so we are going to give it um, height and width because we need to give it a height and width in order to achieve that thing height is gonna be 40 pixel and width is also gonna be 40 pixel and you have guessed it right i'm gonna um, be providing here the border radius so border radius will also be 50 percentage look how much of uh, data redundancy or data repetition code repetition we are doing there so of course this doesn't look uh, perfectly right in there i have to change the background in here so let's change the background background color to the color of our search box so that was uh, actually e a slightly dark white color i don't know why i'm pronouncing that like this uh, and i want to just um, center them vertically and horizontally so i will be using grid to just center them in two lines so display grid I'll be using grid box, flex box in anywhere. I don't know who I, what I am doing, but I'm using that. So place item center, and it's gonna center our elements. So it isn't being centered. So let me refresh, and we haven't loaded our icon. So it wasn't loaded actually. And after this, what I wanna do is I I think I need not to specify anything in here. Um, yeah that's basically of 16 pixel and after that i am going to give it a margin of left uh, for now uh, basically what uh, i should give it is one rem maybe mm, one rem yeah i'm gonna give it a one rem and i'm just going to increase it slightly so font size will be 18 pixels so our icons will be mm, slightly larger than that previous and these are cool in there Right now, I my mouse cursor is not changing to pointer in here, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna change my mouse pointer to cursor. So here I'll be using the high level of machine learning code in here. Yeah. Uh, okay. Control G. <laughs> high level of machine learning code is actually the Control G button in there. So after this, what we got is pretty much the, this design. So what a wonderful and cool design is this and we are officially done with our navbar so let me compare this with our previous version so yeah uh, we have achieved some goals but i think uh, here is more amount of padding in there so i'm gonna increase the padding come here to styles and I'm gonna increase the padding from the nav so what we have currently one ram of padding uh, do I need to give the increase the padding so let's increase the padding to two ram how this looks like okay this looks cool I, I'm not playing with all of these things from now uh, yeah now I'll be moving towards the another part that's our main body section so we are still in the body section but we are done with our nav bar so i'm going to 
make here a container create a container and inside container what we have so right in here we can see that we have our left panel a middle panel again like a nav bar there was a, a left nav a middle nav and the nav right so likewise we are going to have our left panel middle panel and the right panel uh, and in the middle panel we are going to put a lot of work uh, to create this all the wonderful post and um, this uh, post creation tools and there's all of the icons so and stories also there is slash uh, animation in going in there so that's what we are going to do and after this uh, i just uh, said previously also i want to create three divs in there so first div is actually the left panel so i'm gonna name it as left panel uh, let's copy and paste it few times so i'm basically duplicating it and middle panel that's gonna be right panel and i'm not gonna play with middle panel and right panel for now i'm going to play with the left panel and let's save it let's come back let's see what we need to do in here first of all we need to specify the user's name and profile so we are going to um, somehow fetch the uh, user's name and profile from the database no i'm just kidding we are going to just uh, specify or give it a value randomly since we are uh, cloning the facebook's design only we are not cloning the backend kind of database stuff so we are not going to do that here we have our user and then we have bunch of other details or other um, uh, other kind of service provided by facebook like friends videos pages groups bookmarks inbox and other things and at last we have some four links yeah not some it's actual it's actually four links and in here what i have left panel and inside the left panel i'm basically going to create an another list yeah why i don't know but i just want to create another list in here so let me do something like this so let me do something shortcut like this another list of 10 elements so how many of them are in here so let me see uh, actually there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so let me create it um, 12 ally tags and inside the ally tags inside each and every ally tag i'm gonna be having uh, what i will be having is uh, image so first of all we'll be having an image in the first ally tag only so after that we will be having uh, icons in each and every field, uh, each and every ally tag. So first we will be having an icon and then the name. So that's what I am going to do. So first of all I will be having the icon. So that's basically i.fa for our font awesome library for using font awesome library and fa uh, dash user dash friend yeah for that our friend and icon and um, i'm using this uh, shortcut really good shortcut and i'll be pressing tab and it's vs code um, uh, is gonna just give the all the templates for us to create so after that we just wanna have the name in here so and after this i'm gonna press tab in here or you can press enter so i'm gonna paste, uh, press tab and it's gonna create us this nice thing and in here what i do want is uh, to have span with a profile yeah profile the class so and in here after that i'll be having giving here the name of the user that's asis panthi is not this one okay how uh, this looks like uh, um, this looks kind of cool but uh, why our uh, is i think it's user friends 
so it isn't how working yeah user's friend so in here let's just quickly assign all the icons related to this all the elements or all the list tag first of all there is a friend icon i have already given then play icon flag icon groups icon yeah i'm gonna give it uh, here and first of all it is friends after that it is uh, what it is it's video and pages video or videos here i'll be having this one play and circle yeah after this i'll be having pages and here instead of the user i'll be having flag and after that what i'm having is the groups and bookmarks so here for the groups i'm gonna use the groups a regular group in there and here it will be like users yeah it is users after that i have bookmark yeah and in here also i'll be naming it as bookmarks and i'm filling up this uh, quite slowly so i'm just going to paste our paste the things that i have previously made so i'm just going to decrease this font size and in here i'm just going to paste the thing i did previously so i have created the demo file which i showed to you and uh, which i'm showing you currently so hmm, i'm just copying these elements from there from the here so let's see how this looks like actually yeah we have all our uh, text uh, and icons in here so come to styles and what i'll be doing is i'll be having yeah i'll be styling this profile so it's inside the left panel there is the profile so profile is not gonna be different from the profile that we created earlier now where it is the uh, yeah, there is this profile so comma there is left panel that's inside the container so let me specify the full uh so it's container so it's full address is container left panel and inside this i am having the profile dot profile and we should get our okay we are not getting uh, that image in here i don't know why but we are not getting so let me quickly uh, or let me slowly slowly do that so i'm not gonna waste your time so i'm just going to do it faster and in here i'm just going to change the color of the body so we just don't want same color in here you can see that uh, we have this uh, slightly dark background so same color i have used same color in there uh, and i'm gonna be using the same color again so it's actually background and background of eee -E -E that's gonna be slightly bad dark background let's save this and look at then here yeah we have got our background in, in there and let me copy this here and paste this again and here i'll be having left panel am i right yeah left panel is yeah which will be 250 pixel i think it's um, really a nice one and after this what i do on uh, what i want to do is uh, i want to just copy this one again so let me copy this one again copy this one come here and paste here uh, after our left panel we have ul and i just wanna you know, do uh, what i just wanna do is i just don't wanna do anything in here instead uh, in ally i just wanna remove the list style so list style none 
and in the ul yeah i will be giving some amount of margin or actually padding so padding from the top and bottom i'm gonna be giving padding from top and bottom i'm not gonna give padding from left and right yeah it's not looking cool but yeah it's not also looking miserably that much weird so display will be flex not in all and i'm not going to play with all of the items so i'm gonna be doing is i'm not going to do anything so padding will be uh, what i should do in here padding should be 10 pixel from all side is it gonna be good one i think it's gonna be good one and let me just copy this one and paste in here and let me create a hover effect so that whenever we hover over there the background color is gonna be changing so background color is again going to be slightly dark so how it looks like now yeah it's cool it's cool and this is cool okay uh, and i'm gonna basically align the items in center after this i'm just going to copy this punch again come here paste this and ul li and inside li we have anchor tag and i just wanna no we don't have any anchor tag we have our name just wanna target that and let me uh, just give it a margin from the left of uh, oh, 10 pixel I think it's uh, pretty much 10 pixel only yeah it's 10 pixel this is being applied in here but not in here so can I know the reason what did I do when I was copying that things? So I have actually copied as p tag, but uh, uh, we have a different as div. So I'm just gonna change all the divs from here to paragraph. So how can we do that? So you basically have to select a uh, word and you will be pressing ctrl d ctrl d ctrl d and it's gonna find uh, all the matching names or matching elements and i'm just gonna press p in here and it's gonna do all the things for us and let me see that yeah is that refreshed kind of refresh but it's not it's still working so what's the problem in here okay i don't really need to give it the class of name so i'm just going to remove the name in here i need not to do extra things so what i can do instead is just target the paragraph element directly targeting the paragraph elements no need to do any other extra things in there and i just want to change the cursor and i just want to have some amount of border radius and transition also so that will be getting a smooth transition in there and users should be having smooth or slightly better performance and they will not be having performance issues they will be having great um, that interaction or great experience border radius of 10 pixel and uh, cursor yeah obviously cursor 2 pointer course i needed to do here what i needed to do in here was uh, to use actually anchor tag but i haven't really used those anchor tag so i am getting the job done with this thing and one thing one thing i noticed in here is that we are actually not having the proper ui so instead of this one i am just going to change it to 0.7 ram 
and one RAM in here. So how this looks like? Let me see. Yeah. Uh, instead, uh, if I do seven pixel, how this looks? Okay, this is kind of weird, but uh, I don't want to do that. And after that, what I just uh, want to do is. I just don't want this curve uh, I want curve but I don't want that curve in there so I want some amount of sharpie things in there also and after that I just want to change some uh, color in here color of the icons so I just don't want those all uh, uh, icons having the same color first of all I need to change the size of icons so here is I and I just want to change the size of the icon so font size it's font size font size should be how much should be the font size uh, 18 pixel let me see yeah let me do it 20 pixel actually how this looks like come on yep it looks cool and I just want to give it the same color to all elements. No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to do give it the same color. I'm giving this lead blue to all of these elements, and I'm gonna be changing the color of those events, ads, and offers. So, how we can change the colors of that specific elements when you are targeting like this? So, we can just target our specific. Uh, icons uh, by targeting their class so uh, what we have in here for our events in there so here for our events what we have is here is event so what we have is fa calendar week is the class for our events so i'm just going to come in here and target that thing and just change it to tomato so yeah tomato means i'm changing it to red one red tomato color so instead of um, this fa calendar week you cannot choose fas because it's actually common to other elements also so it's not actually going to target only yours so bullhorn to have change in here Um, so bullhorn I don't need to do for the bullhorn for hands helping I think I'm gonna be needed that one so let me just do this uh, let me just copy and paste this one duplicate and here I'll be having the different color so I actually copied the colors from there directly so I'm going to change all the colors of all of these icons so that um, the things will be faster and I have actually explained all the things so uh, you will be um, comfortable with this thing and I just don't want to increase the um, video length uh, of one hour by doing unwanted things and yeah I just don't want to do that I just don't want to degrade the quality and in here I'll be having footer links or something like that yeah uh, let's just uh, call it at footer links yeah what else I can call that anchor tag of course I'm going to have anchor tag hashtag and it's gonna have privacy and duplicate it few times um, and Tom's and in here I'll be having advanced advanced that I'll be having more so let me just copy this one come here target that uh, little boy inside the container I have left panel and left panel I have these links uh, and what I do want to what I want to do is with these links nothing uh, yeah I'm just uh, wanting to give it a padding so let me give it a padding of how much uh, let's just give it the padding of 5 pixel from top and bottom and a uh, one rim or 10 pixel 10 pixel from 
sides okay uh -huh. uh, this is quite interesting so come here how much we are giving in here uh, 10 pixel from top and bottom that's not for um, those one okay one rim from left and right so I'm going to give it a one rim I'll show for that one let me collapse this all the things I just don't want this all the things to be extended mm. And instead of 10 pixel, I want one RAM so that it will looks like this. And I just want to copy this one, come here and paste. And I just want to target our anchor tags. I'm going to remove the text decoration as always. Text decoration to none and color to actually hashtag um, 333 so it will be slightly changed yeah color color is changed font size is gonna be 15 pixel how much it will be you see that okay okay it's quite good but uh, not good as 12 pixel so let me just cancel this out it's gonna be 12 pixel yeah this looks kind of professional now yeah uh, we have uh, also we have officially completed our left panel unofficially we have something to do yet um it we are not completed with this one but we'll be doing that and after that we are now moving towards our middle panel so this is really a tricky one inside middle panel what we have so let me show you first of all we'll be creating those all the stories with little animation beautiful animation going in here and we'll be creating this one to create the post and after this we will be having some post with the text only like how funny things it is saying and with the images of different resolutions like this one and it's gonna be perfectly content inside our post and this has nice ui and it also has some kind of a, mm, yeah some kind of a hover effect and it also has this uh, uh yeah professional looking things and we'll be doing this all the things so let me come here so in here we have to really see uh what should be in there so for that we have this one uh, so for the stories uh, we are using this uh, four story box and one create story box and in the this story box we have the user's name user's profile pictures and user's story so that's what we are going to do so in here uh, we are just going to create the stories uh, yeah stories section yeah Mm, yeah this looks kind of well defined name and inside it I'm obviously going to have a story and inside a story I'll be having an image that's basically the main photo of the story and after this I'll be having our profile pictures uh, so it's gonna be inside um, our deep tag deep dot DB DP yeah the display picture and after that I'll be having the name and after having the image we'll be having um another display picture DP email so it will be like um, uh, it will be like div and that's gonna be having uh, the yep a dp container so it's uh, going to contain our display picture so it's a uh, dp container and with its sibling i'm going to have the name and as a name i'm going to use the paragraph element so name and hit enter and it's gonna create us all the things for uh it's, in, it's gonna create all the things for us so in here i'm going to have a uh, main image so first of all, I'm going to give uh, do the model.jpg. Yeah, 
I have said that I have provided all the images link in the description below so check them out and in here I'm going to give it a, a name Anushka Sharma and in inside it I'm going to have a I'm going to have our image element and inside this of course we are just going to have our dp.jpg uh, let's just speak the gulch photo in here and after this we can optionally provide the alt tag like uh, uh, saying Anuska's story yeah I, we can just do that let me save that and come back in here and you can see we have this model right here and this is the display picture and we have our name in here and why it is not coming side by side so that's the that's the real problem here because mm, we haven't really said uh, to come them side by side so for that we really need to specify here the display uh, of flex so give it a display of uh, really display of flex and they are gonna come side by side yeah trust me they came side by side yeah after this what we just want to do is create the stories in here so dot stories um, um do i need to install the middle panel yeah let's just uh, install the middle panel it is uh, having the flex one so it's gonna cover up uh, the whole width that's gonna be remaining so it's covering 250 pixels in here uh, and and the remaining width is from here all the way up to this scroll bar so it's gonna cover all the remaining width that's what it's uh, saying in here and and obviously i just wanna center this all the contents uh, so for that i'll be of course doing the display of flex in here again and let's display let's display okay uh, and align items so i am gonna be aligning all the items to center so that means obviously our content are going to be center okay <laughs> For that, uh, we need to give it a flex direction of column so that uh, our images, our contents is gonna be centered horizontally. So why are we are giving the flex direction of column? So we don't want everything to come in a single row. We want to have ever the different row for each. Uh, element so for the stories it's gonna have different row for any post it's gonna have different row so that's the reason why i'm doing that and after this uh, i'll be targeting the middle panel again and inside this i'm gonna be having the story section uh story section uh it's uh yeah stories uh, story i'll say story yeah i have different story section and inside that I have a story and a story will have the width of 120 pixel the height of 100 not 100 it's 200 pixel border radius obviously it has the border radius of 10 pixel and after that what we have is um, what we do have uh, um, let me save this uh, how this looks like um, nothing changed really in here after this let's copy this one come here and inside history we just so uh, wanna target our db container dot db cont this uh, target our db container this db container and it's gonna have the width of 40 pixel I think and 40 pixel border radius of course 50% because we want the rounded border in there and after that 
let uh, me do overflow overflow will be hidden so the image that's gonna be overflowed from there it's gonna get hided okay it's gonna get hidden i think uh, it's gonna get hidden but it's, it's still there so why it is still happening there For that let me just come here and see if i have given the right class name copy this one story section yeah story section and in here our db container okay okay i was right let me copy this one again copy paste in here db container and i'm just going to directly target the image inside the db container and what i'll be doing here width will be 100 percentage height will be 100 percentage save this come here and let me see yeah our display picture is right here and i just want to resize this one also so for resizing that i want to change it to position uh, uh, relative so in a while we are going to give it the position absolute to our image so that's the reason why i'm changing to position relative and in here i just want to directly target to the direct child uh, and height will be 100 percent i just don't want to play with the width um, I just want to play with the height so let me save that and how this looks like yeah it's cool and it's gonna be having also it's gonna be having overflow of hidden so it's hidden and we have our story in here and cursor cursor will be pointer save this come here yeah cursor pointer and i just want some little animation going in there so whenever we hover over the story it's hover over the story uh, it's uh, going to scale up so i'm going to use the transform property uh, scale mm, up to 1.05 percentage okay nothing really changing in there and here i am going to use the transition property for the smooth operation in there uh, let me do transition is in uh, is in right so it's actually 0 0.3 seconds so yeah it's happening in front of my eyes but that's uh, not really happening okay it's uh, happening really quickly okay i need to give the transition to the image here now it will happen smoothly yeah and it's kind of cool i loved it man i loved it after that we are going to target our db container again so db container give it a position of absolute and it's gonna have border of course border of uh, let's give it a royal blue of uh, five uh, or three pixel how uh, we used to do that solid so let me save this uh, is that gonna be appearing in there so position is position absolute mm, come on it's gonna be top zero left zero and come on it should appear in there yeah it is appear and i have actually placed the properties of the border here and there but it's really working so top should be 10 pixel from the bottom 10 pixel should be the left and it's perfectly in there yeah i think i don't want to mess up with other thing and after this 
let me copy that one come here and instead of db container i just want to target the name uh, i just want to copy this one paste in here position absolute bottom and bottom should be zero pixel left will be zero pixel but instead i'll be giving the padding to this one padding of five pixel from all around the places so padding to the name so here is our anushka sharma and i'm going to change the color of course uh, not the cursor it's color so i'm going to change the color to white and yeah this looks kind of cool and i'm going to change the font weight also font weight uh, um, to yeah bold the text and this is what our outcomes looks like come here to our html file i just want to go here let's copy this one um okay copy this one and paste it bunch of time yeah four times i have pasted that four time instead of modal i just want uh press here or insert the shoes or jpg image and instead of goal uh what i want to do yeah i think i'm gonna be doing the model yeah and this looks like come on i have those elements yeah now i have to install or use the uh this section class so yeah everything has a, a role in here so what this story section has the role so this story section plays the role of displaying the contents as flex yeah now come on i've said display flex so let me refresh yeah, what's really happening in here this is just out of control out of my mind what's really happening all right there what's happening story section that story what's uh, what's the flow in there copy this one come here uh, and is this okay it's right but why it isn't working i thought it's gonna work and uh, let me just provide here the padding quickly padding of one rim top and bottom and zero pixel or uh, let me just give it the padding of one rim from all side okay something is happening here so what i did was a nonsense activity that i don't recommend you to do so what i did is i copied this story section bunch of times so uh it is uh, the main element but i have actually copied this for a bunch of time how stupid i am so let me remove this all from here uh so this one also ctrl g ctrl g i just want to remove this one also and this one also let me just format the code in here format document and it's gonna get formatted yeah now this should come in handy okay i again messed up Okay, where did I messed up? Oh, yeah, there it it is there. As uh, story section, and let me format it again. 
you format this one yeah formatted and now see am i able to see that okay it's now coming back again why you are coming again and again and let me just uh, do my job let me format my document let's save this come on come on man okay i really messed up with all the contents below that uh, that means switch one to this one oh i really have to just remove this one from there and let's just close the tag in here i want to close the tag so it is not closed so where it is closing okay it's not closing anywhere uh, i just messed up in there so i don't recommend you to get messed up so let me just remove this one and for uh, why is it happening here format the document when that thing happens man okay the real result is there and i am kind of enjoying with that result now after that uh, in the story i just want to okay, why it is freaking up um i'm freaking up now margin of uh, zero pixel from top and bottom and 10 pixel from left and right and that's gonna be okay yeah that's gonna be a fine thing or i just wanna give it the uh, five pixel oh this looks more perfectly polished fine and kind of like that do i need to change the text okay let me change the text in here so instead i'm going to copy uh, all four elements all the three elements so instead of uh, the things uh, in here uh, instead of uh, this whole bunch of stupid code i just wanna do the same thing so i don't wanna change the names manually so i did this thing so it's gonna change the images and name and it's looking cool perfectly fine here and i want to create the next thing what it is the create um, story um, tab or create a create a story box for that i am going to go and share a story section and i'll be posting or i'll be pasting the same thing okay i'll paste this a uh, bunch more times let me just remove this one from here okay instead of a story only i'm just gonna give it a create and in here what i want to have is i don't have any uh, story yet so i'm going to remove this one and it's gonna get removed from here yeah i want tv container to be in there and after this uh, i'll be having a plus icon so it's uh, uh, actually plus icon and here it's um, getting the class of db container i don't want to give the class of db container in here so instead of db container i'm going to give it a in class of tv image so it's actually the tv image we want to show so right now it's kind of weird yeah it's kind of weird um, but we are just going to install this all the thing and uh, let me just collapse the thing let me collapse the thing that i don't really need anymore um I'm gonna need this all the things but right now I don't need and in here I'll be targeting our uh, what I'm going to target is the story section and inside the story section I have that story um, dot create uh, and in here I have this thing called 
image uh, and it's gonna be having something like height of 80 percentage so uh, this uh, container is gonna contain or uh, occupy the 80 percent height of our actual um, that story box so where is this story box and in here i just want to give it a box uh, shadow and also a background color so background color of uh, white so here I'm with uh, nothing in hand nothing to get proceed and instead of Pragati Adhikari I just want to say create a story I just want to be more creative so instead of Pragati, I have create a story in there and I'm gonna have overflow hidden as always uh, hidden s i d d e n hidden is pronounced like that uh, now uh, it's uh, time for our image inside the db image container and it's obviously going to have the height of uh, hundred percentage or uh, let me just uh, give it a width and let's guess width of 100 percent is how this looks like yeah this looks uh, kind of cool do i have overflow hidden property yeah i have that one but i think it's exceeding the 80 percent limit in there db image overflow hidden i have done that it's not actually happening yeah i'll be doing that later on but let me just uh, mm, do our plus sign there it is the plus sign there we have plus sign but we are not actually uh, implementing that uh, this time so in here show sure this uh, let me just uh, give it as image only and instead of a dp image i just want to have dp container and it will be get transformed so position actually i have given the position of absolute previously so i need not to give the position again mm. and top from the top it's gonna be 70 percentage and from the left it's gonna be uh, at uh, 50 percentage mm. and i just wanna transform this again to take it and horizontally center so transform translate translate x uh, to the minus 50 percentage so it's gonna get center horizontally in here so yeah i did it copy this one come down paste here and uh, inside this i have this one change the color change the color to fff let me save this how this looks like yeah this looks cool uh, but uh, in here i just want to change something uh what i need to change in here i have to change this one right so i need to take the that thing to the center so i'm going to give it a place side of center but this will only work if you have this property uh, display grid and how this looks like let me see that okay it's properly centered in there and i'm going to have the background color background color will be of uh, which one background color is uh, of uh, blue one yeah i'll be using the royal blue in here i think yeah royal blue and be having the border in here exactly opposite border border is of uh, four pixel was i using the three pixel border let me see that uh where is that border it was in the dp container so here it is the border three pixels so let me change it to four pixel and it actually looks cool when it is four pixel so instead of uh, that all the things so top 
70 percentage from where it came and just uh, copied again i don't know why this happens but dear did that did happen four pixel all solid and color will be of white so it's the border color and this looks cool but our image why it is doing so and i just want to copy this one come here paste this one and where is our name also do i have name yeah i have that name properly displayed in there instead of fff i just want to change the color to the black oh, oh, oh. so i really have to pick up the name in here so that looks kind of cool so it is taking me extra time to do that and i'm just going to reduce the font size in here so that it's gonna be faster font size to 15 pixel yeah now it's doing perfectly fine thing uh, text uh, uh, a line center uh, is it gonna do that thing no it's not really doing anything so let me do the top 10 pixel so it's gonna get center anyhow i don't i just want to center that thing that should have worked i don't know why it's breaking up but um, let me just change the 80 percentage to okay why it's pasting an unnecessary thing to 70 percentage and let me see how this looks like okay it's not actually working here so that means this isn't working properly yeah that's the reason why there is that bad thing happening dp image so here is dp image it's actually span so there shouldn't be span there should be a div that controls the image so now Think it's gonna be more effective uh, and after that we want to create this all the post in here and we'll be moving towards this section so for creating the post we need to jump back to our code editor uh, so let's go here come here uh, let's do something and yeah, do anything that you want I think I'm just uh, doing the okay why it is doing so uh, it's just pasting the unnecessary thing that I do not want to have yeah this okay it's doing very nonsense activities um, and in here after the story section uh, what i have yeah i just wanna create a post in here and post will have the structure of um, what should be the structure so here is the structure and already the video is getting so longer that you are also tired and i'm also tired of making so i'm just going to explain it to you so for creating our website we have this dp image that's basically an image Mm, uh, that's uh, image inside of our any of the container so like this one so we uh, like the dp image we are from the so that is same um, exactly like that but we don't have any borders here and um, just uh, right um, beside it we have our input box and here we have uh, our all of the three action buttons and in here also we have the uh, user's image and the user's name user's uploaded time and in here we have that uh, same this uh, thing so i'm just going to copy the post information and i'm again going to explain you the details so here i'm with the post information so let me do this and come here paste that in here and i have only pasted this much amount of code from line number 
166 to 196 so 30 lines of 4 31 lines of 4 and in here I will be just uh, demonstrating you what I have done so I have created a post tip tag that's uh, basically a wrapper for all the elements that's going to be inside it and I have the post top that's basically the thing I am doing in this whole application so I'm uh, just uh, dividing all of the post into the post top post content and uh, post uh, bottom so I'm dividing the whole post in three sections that's uh, gonna be let me just explain to you so this one whole thing that you are looking is the top one post top and post content means the stakes and the images that you are seeing and the post bottom is from this line from the line underneath this line we have three accent button that come inside the uh, our post bottom so that's what I have to explain and in here what we have is the DP as usual we did in the story section also and in here post info that's gonna be having a paragraph with the name of the users and when they actually uploaded that one so here is your time also and after that we have this ellipse so that's the triple dots in there are and after that we have this thing saying stupid things and with an emoji and i'm breaking the line with the beer tag and after that i'll be having the post bottom div tag that's basically contents okay i just clicked off this one uh, post button that just basically have three accent buttons so, so this one is like this one is comment and this one is share so it's having the icon font or some icon on top and after that it's having this uh, name so let me save this go back and let me see the things in here so this is basically the display picture show but that I'm just going to style the things up in here so post inside the post I have this uh, uh, what I have is post top right so let me first um, just do the post thing in here uh, where is gonna be 550 pixel yeah I calculated that uh, last time and it's gonna have the background of course uh that's gonna have the back ground background of white and border radius of course i don't want border radius to be more than the 10 pixel and um, after that what i really do i really want another thing i think uh, this is gonna be sufficient or padding padding gonna be 10 pixel from all the sides uh, is that gonna be good yeah, I think it's gonna be good and from the post uh, I'm reaching towards the post and dot post uh, top and in here I'll be giving it a display of uh, flex yes and here it will be having what this will be having is uh, align item center so as usual i'll be giving here the align items center so all the items will be align center so let me see how this looks like okay this uh, the contents are now centered in here uh, it looks horrible now uh, but let me copy this one come here and paste in here uh, and inside in here I'll be targeting our DP so what I have named that in here actually let me see that so it's actually named as DP in here also so let me uh, give it a width and height of course it needs width and height width of 40 pixel a uh, height of 40 pixel um, and of course it will be needing a border radius of 50 percentage hmm, border radius of 50 percentage yes and overflow will be hidden overflow will be hidden 
and uh, let me copy this thing come here paste this again and inside that we I want to just target the image directly and I just want to give it a um, uh, height or width yeah width of 100 percent so it's gonna be like this and we got our thing in here so we don't have gorgeous looking form but I have created the basic design in there and after that uh, I just want to copy this one and in here I just want to change the cursor to pointer yeah that's what I want to do and after this let's paste this one and DP uh, then I'll have a, I'll be having what was that is in the post top I'll be having post info right uh, so post info mm, let me just target that one it's gonna have the some uh, margin margin from the left so margin left of 10 pixel is gonna be there uh, and yeah it looks kinda cool uh, copy this one again paste in here now uh, after that <laughs> I'll be having something here just uh, changing the cursor to pointer yes and post info ensure the post info I'll be having this thing called the name I think it's uh, called as name yeah it's name and time copy this one paste in here it's time and font size uh, I have to give the font size in both of the places so so what I need to do is come here and say font size and this should have the font size of 20 pixel uh, let me see how big that looks like okay that's uh, that's terrible let me be honest in there that's terrible and 16 pixel is the sufficient one I think yes and font weight will be font weight will be bolder or bold and that is basically the style for both of them so it's gonna move into the top and there and copy this one come here paste this one again and save this how this looks like okay this looks awesome totally cool and after that I wanna target our that three dots okay the code is already getting longer but uh, I'll make sure that I'll be posting there the short code in the video post info and in here I target I and I just want to do something like margin left auto so it's gonna go right okay it's not going right why the hell that's happening post info post top it's not inside the post info so that's the reason why it's not moving in there and I think I kind of having or uh, I kind of losing something there so it's having actually padding of uh, not from top and bottom I think uh, or it's, uh, it's having top from top and bottom uh, yep uh, it's having something like this mm, yeah it's uh, having something like that and after doing our top after completing our top I just want to move to our post content I think copy this one paste in here uh, and let me just delete this one post top uh, instead that content okay font will be font size will be of course uh, the 16 pixel mm, do I need to define that one 
font weight will be normal I don't think I'm gonna uh, and that's I'm just defining the normal thing in there and post content will be having the padding of one or 10 pixel from all the sites I think yeah and after this uh, the opportunity uh, is for the post bottom so copy this one come here paste that again in here bottom uh, TTO and bottom and it's gonna have the box shadow box shadow of uh, how much should I give the box shadow and border of uh, one pixel solid and that's gonna be hashtag DDD save this and come back and there we go then after we just wanna say display flex cause we want the contents to be in the same line so display will be flex okay now let's see how this looks like okay we have our this call to action button or something like that action buttons in the same row and then we'll be having something like uh, justify content and that's gonna have space space between yes and that's gonna look something like this okay not that very good but I'm gonna give it a padding here of uh, let's say 10 pixel from outside let's see how this looks like okay this isn't really a uh, good looking thing because I don't want to give any padding from top and bottom or let's just give 5 pixel padding from top and bottom and uh, keep it as 10 pixel padding from left and right and this is looking kind of cool mm, so let's copy this let's copy this one come here paste here and let's go back to our html file and let's see our call to action button or that action button so we have dot actions class dot action class so after that we just want to target this one and i don't want these all the things to be in there and i just wanna say here what should i say padding yeah i just want to give it a padding of let's give it the padding of 5 pixel and 10 pixel and let's copy this again and of course we want to create a uh, hover effect not hover it's uh, hover effect and i just want to change its background of course what we are doing in this video i was just changing the background so let's see how this uh, looks like okay this it's kind of awesome but let's just change the border radius border radius to let's change it to 10 pixel and let's see how this all looks like yeah that looks kind of cool and it doesn't hurt your eyes while you look that and I just want to give it a little amount of transition transition of 0.3 second here of is in type let's save this come here and look at this and I just wanna say cursor pointer change the cursor to pointer and what else we really have to do so here let's change the color to actually EEE -E -E so that will be having slightly dark color not that much very dark and in here i'll be changing the padding to let's just keep it as 10 pixel and here i'll be giving 5 pixel from all side but not from the top or uh, not from the bottom sorry i am not going to give it uh, any pixel of padding from the bottom because we already have so much of the space in here so let's refresh why not our icons are loading yeah i refresh it and our icons are loaded now and yeah now let's compare this with our original one so 
yeah this looks similar to this one and what else do we need to change so here our cursor is not changing to pointer so we just want to change our cursor to pointer i don't know why but i just want to change the cursor to pointer so let's just do this cursor to pointer and that's gonna do the things for us yeah that did change the pointer to cursor and now let's look at in here what we what else do we need to do nothing so we are done with our post also so let's copy and paste it a few times and i'm not gonna uh, do that uh, shit i did previously so it's this much right let's copy this and recheck again yeah that's the much is the post come here paste it again let's save this and let's see that's working perfectly yeah that's working perfectly but yeah in here in the post section we just want to have some amount of margin so come to post um, dip and I just want to have the margin of uh, let's give it um, one ramp from all side and how this all looks like so let's compare this okay this isn't a good one cuz I think I need to give it a margin of 10 pixel to match with the previous style let's save this come here yeah so I have actually created the exact prototype here now let's go back and change this some contents there now let's change it to something like this so here we have Ramesh GC and two days ago I will be having here the different DP so I especially have the dp.jpg file and in here I have Ramesh and here it's GC and it will be like two days ago and what else do I need to change um, let's save this and let's see how this all looks like and yeah this looks kind of cool and we just don't want to display our text only we want to display the image also so let's go back let's go back to our browser uh, that's not a browser it's a code editor so here what I will be saying is uh, mountains are so cool so I'm gonna say that mountains uh, here I'll be writing mountains are so cool and then and then underneath it I'm gonna create an image tag inside it I'm gonna have the source attribute where I'll be containing the mountains.jpg file or mountains.jpg image and I'm gonna be closing this image and let's see how this all looks like okay this is now overflowing from there and I just need to change one property there so that it keeps up the good work right so come here to our post content let's copy this whole thing paste it in here and instead of post content I'm having image so what I'll be doing is I'm gonna be changing the width so width will be hundred percent and let's see how this all looks like yeah this is really awesome and in here if you look carefully we don't have any spacing there and I just want to have white spacing there because I love white spacing not um, padding it's gonna be margin so margin from top and bottom will be 5 pixel and left and right I don't wanna have left and right margin so yeah this is kinda cool and if we just uh, place the text underneath our image like this it's gonna be so cool here also yeah mountains are so cool so in Facebook you don't have the option to place the text underneath the image but in our application we do allow because our application is so user friendly 
and now what we need to do next is to create a post creation tool or uh, something like this this whole post window or something like that that model so for that what I need to do I already copied that one so I'm going here and I'm going to paste that okay I haven't actually copied the HTML it is indeed the CSS file so let's copy this and just forgive me for the text size is too low and I'm gonna increase the text size here so so here is DP and then after we don't want to have post info and this ellipse kind of thing I just want to have input element with a type of text that's gonna contain so that's gonna have a placeholder and that is gonna say what it's gonna say uh, what's on your mind right yeah typical uh, Facebook question what's on your mind Ashish what's on your mind comma your user's name yeah you can paste my name as so and then we'll be having post content I don't really need post content in here and I just want to have post top and post bottom so that this looks like this where our where is our content here yeah here is our content and instead of like comment share I just want to have these all three icons live video photo video uh, uh, live video photo video and filling activity kind of uh, like that and here what I'm gonna be doing is filling slash act pt and here will be being sorry we'll be having something like live video let's just skip it small case and here I'll be having what I'll be having only video so let's see how this all goes why it is so slow now okay we are not getting our video icon there so let's keep it as fa and in here what we'll be doing i'm gonna be doing photo and here we'll be having photos slash videos or let's just keep it as photo slash video and then here what i'll be having is is smile um is that a good one so let's see yeah but uh, i'm not getting i'm not really getting that uh, this one so this may be something different or uh, let's just remove this one and let's see how this all goes uh, let's see yeah i'm not still getting that so i really need to look at the thing i did and I have to change it as image instead of photo so that we are gonna get the image icon there so here we have our image icon and we have this little kind of weirdy thing and I'm just gonna style it quickly I'm not gonna take too much of your time too much of your valuable time in the post top I'll be targeting our input field so we only have one input field right now so height will be obviously as usual height will be 40 pixel padding will be um, like the previous source box in top of here so same thing is gonna happen with this one also 10 pixel no 10 pixel 5 pixel and 10 pixel same thing same amount of padding and same border radius i promise you that i'll be providing the optimized code uh, when i'll be uploading it into the github when i'll be pushing it into github so when you will be downloading the code it will be more optimized than this one will code reputation will be less 
I'll not do the code repetition like I am doing right now. So why it isn't highlighting here? Border radius. Uh, what's the follow flow in here? Border radius CSS unknown properties. What the hell? R A D I U S radius. That should be the known one. Yeah, and I just want to remove the outline and border. Yep. And I just don't want to have width, but I'm gonna give it this flex one so that it will take the rest of the width that is allowed in there. And I just want to change the background color to hashtag EEE. -E -E. Not 333, it's EEE. -E -E and that's gonna look something different and here what i'll be having yeah i'll need to give it a margin from left of 10 pixels so that is gonna have some margin from the left and this looks kind of cool now i can type in here and i am now going to change the color of this icon and text into something different i don't know in which color i'm going to change them but I'm doing that uh, and uh, to change that I really need to go here uh, let's change uh, the things up in here for that I really need to target the post and post um, bottom as usual and here I'll be targeting that a uh, regular action right Mm, and here I'll be changing the color so let's change the color to hashtag this one and let's save this how this all goes yeah there is this color but if you look carefully the color of other action buttons is also changed so we don't want to have that we just want some unique thing there so I just want to have an additional class here so where i will be creating the post um i just want to have create class there so let's see if something is happening here nothing uh, and here is also nothing happening so i need to change it that that create so that the color will be changing there yeah now we are left up with this thing Mm, let's uh, just create some more post or let's just copy the post that I created previously so let's just go to our index.html file and let's just paste two posts in here and styling things will be handled by our CSS file and let's just go back to our website and here we are with our shoes yeah that's kind of lengthy shoes photo but yeah that's looking very cool and here we are with our mm, Priyank Saxena saying happy birthday dear wishing the birthday and here uh, Ramesh is saying mountains are cool and then we are now moving to our right panel here if you are uh, just watching carefully then you can see that um, our this uh, left panel is also moving along with our this content at the end of this video I'm gonna just make sure that this will stick in here and this all rest of the content will start moving and the right panel that we haven't created it will also be sticking there that's not gonna move and in here I just want to change the DP because uh, here I have this man is my DP that's man's face and here I am also having that man's face as the DP so I just want to change the DP so let's go to our story section where I'll find that one so let's just go up up up, up and I think here I'm gonna find that one DP image DP right let's come here it's not changing okay it changed uh, I don't know why it's uh, so slow now but at least it got changed here and after our middle panel we'll be moving towards our 
right panel so let's go to our bottom and in here we have our right panel already created and here i'm just have i'm gonna have pages yeah i'm just gonna have the pages classes and inside in here what we are really gonna have is um uh heading say that says your pages and two pages that that the user owns so these are the pages that the user has and that's gonna be wrapped up inside our anchor tag something just like that and in here we have friends and henry mostly and uh, there is a list of friends so same thing is happening here there is this um, uh, title and there is also a title there are two pages there are many friends but uh, the style is same so we are just gonna reuse the content or uh, copy and paste the content because we don't have that reusability feature in html we have to copy paste everything every time and this freaking hurts me here i'll say your pages and let's see if it's um yeah it's not that capitalized pages and let's just go to bottom and in here should i be creating the div uh ul and i don't think so i'll be creating an anchor tag inside it okay inside this i'm gonna be having something uh like a dp picture dp container should i be doing that let's just keep it as dp only uh and uh, let's create that one and inside this i'm gonna have image and image is gonna contain some images of course uh, i'm gonna move inside images folder and in here inside images directory what we have mm, <laughs> what i really wanna choose is logo.jpg and after that what i'll be having uh name pretty much name with the inside a paragraph tag wrapped inside a paragraph tag and in here i'll be having cody yes and here i just wanna give it a class of is this give it a class of post no 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 it's not post it's pages no it's only page and in here i'm just gonna have a pages section i don't know why i came with uh, came up with this weird idea but i came up with this weird idea and i'm just gonna keep it and i'm just gonna copy this one and paste again because we own two pages so that's the reason and we don't have any profile picture or dp for our next um, page so we're gonna keep our dp is the profile picture dp is the dp yeah uh let me spell it right tutorial tutorials okay tutorials is kind of good and let's just capitalize this and after this we will be moving towards our styler css file and in here what will be having uh, it's all bit targeting the, okay that's gonna be right panel right panel and that's gonna be inside our container and in here inside our right panel i just wanna have the weight of 200 and 200 pixel exactly to be precise okay mm here is everything is overflowing just want to resize everything there let's copy this come here let's just remove this one that's the unwanted code i don't want to have and in here uh, right panel inside that what we have is pages that section what it's having it's uh, it will be obviously having some amount of padding so let's just give 10 pixel from all side or margin margin of let's just give it a 
10 pixel from top and bottom and let's just remove the padding from here and let's just copy this and paste this again remove this what is space that extra line there and in here inside of the poses pages section i'm gonna target our page individual page and that's gonna have the display of uh, flex cause we want everything to be in the same bro again i'm saying the same thing again and again i don't know why i'm doing that but i'm doing that and inside our image uh, we have dot dp and it's gonna have same thing uh height so i'm just uh, uh doing uh, this weird thing that i'm the writing same css properties again and again i'm just saying that again and again and i'm doing this uh css properties again again and again so if you want um, an optimized video then just comment down below i'll make the so that i'll upload an optimized video of this code otherwise if you just want to have optimized code then just go and download from the github and don't forget to give me a star there give this repo a star yeah after this step dp i'm just gonna target not image it's img and it's gonna have the worth of 100 percentage that's gonna be it let's see how this looks like and we are done with our this uh, cool things and in here not only flex i'm just gonna align item center let's see yeah your pages cody cody and tutorials and that are perfectly aligned there and after this i just want to copy this one come here paste and just target our name pages name and we'll be having here something like um text decoration none so text decoration none actually this property should be in here uh instead of our anchor tag uh, so which one is the anchor tag the page is the anchor tag so i'm gonna place that there and after this um inside the name i just wanna increase the font weight to bold bold font size to 15 pixel let's see how this all goes i hope this all goes right okay it's kind of weird though and let's just change the cursor here to pointer it's pointer and let's increase the font size here to 18 pixel and i want to have some amount of margin from the left so that it's not gonna just <laughs> attract it to our dp and let's go above and in here i'm just gonna change the margin to one rem and uh i don't know if you are able to see that or not but i'm really able to see that there that our h4 element this one is uh, requiring some amount of margin so margin bottom 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 of 10 pixels so that our contents are gonna place us below that and this looks kind of weird though just come here and let's just increase this width so now it looks kind of cool and after this i'm just gonna go ahead uh let's just copy this one paste here and paste it's gonna be hover when we'll be hovering over it's gonna change the background color yeah that's the same thing i am doing throughout the whole application 
background to ddd and here i'll be having transition uh for three second is in out cursor i don't need i don't think so i need to change the cursor so let's just change the cursor to our dp so so that we are gonna have the better experience so users will have the better experience not us uh, let, uh, let's just uh, not save that let's just give it a border also so uh, not the actual border except uh, that's gonna be border radius of 10 pixel let know why i'm giving 10 pixel i think i should be giving 5 pixel so let's see how this all goes hmm this doesn't go well i need some amount of padding in there here i just need padding let's just give it a 7 pixel 10 pixel uh, as we previously gave in here so that's gonna be same like we gave in here and yeah that's looking cool but uh, the color is not that suitable so i'm just gonna change the color here to hashtag 333 and it's gonna look so cool there after this i just want to go to our html file back again and let's just copy this pages section all the way up to here right yeah that's it and i'm gonna paste it here we'll be having um friends yeah and instead of pages i just want to remove that's gonna be for I e and ds friend section and here it will be friend after this what i do want to have is let's just uh, see what i have henry mostly and in here we don't have uh, basically the bold text so i'm just gonna remove that one after this but first let's uh, have the dp uh, dp is same and in here the george so if you are george then just forgive me i'm just gonna place here the image of suits because i don't have those all the images to put so i just have handful images to put in here so let's see how this all goes oh okay as expected this all didn't go that much right and in here i'm just gonna change it to friend okay let's just put it there mm, that's gonna be like this or uh something like this okay let's go to our style set and what do we need to do here Okay, copy this. I just need to copy and paste everything here. I don't know why. Friends, okay, let's just remove this all the seats from there. I did previously. Okay, I'm just having good time here. I'm just spending quality time. So let's just copy this. And what I'll be having? Uh, let's give it a comma. Friends section, and there I'll be having the DP, and inside this I'll be having in an image, and let's just copy this whole thing again. Let's come up in here. Let's, let's give it a comma paste it here and instead of this i just want to remove this all the things and just come here give it a comma here i'll show just paste it here and instead of page hover i just want to give it um, something like dot friend friend and it's gonna have hover and i just forgot to put this there it's it needs to be in there 
um here it needs to be in here so let's see how this all goes oh my god that's bunch of errors new date value of i don't know what the heck is this let's just go back and uh, let's just pretend like we haven't seen anything let's copy this again come here paste in here instead of pages uh, let's just select page and con hit ctrl d and let's change it as friend friend only f r i e n d friend have i misspelled that one here which friends friend yeah i haven't misspelled that there but in here also i just wanna change so it would have been cool if i haven't uh, used the different uh classes for different uh, section yeah it would have been a really awesome journey awesome experience and awesome thing let's copy this one again okay why this is freaking i don't know uh, i think i have been boring throughout the whole video but uh, if you are still here then i think you are the most down to earth person in the whole world french right why the hell we are getting this all those windows dot protocol or something like that uh let's just refresh this and yeah our error is just gone from there and we are having some problem here and here it is the problem I <laughs> I don't know why it's freaking up. It's friends. I don't know how to spell friends. So okay, here yeah, I again got fucked up. So let's go to our name. Okay, here it is. So it's dot name like this, and I don't want this the bold thing there show list keep it something simple and we need to give it a some amount of more padding there padding stuff uh, so let's give it some amount of padding i'll show because i don't know what i'm doing i'm freaking idiot jerk yeah right panel padding of one ram let's just give it let's see how this all goes okay this all has gone right and yeah so here i just don't want to have that logo i just want to have our dp the real dp here so dp dot jpg and i'm just gonna quick we feel all the missing friends in here like this one we have a bunch of four five other friends so i'm just gonna place that so let's go to our html and in here after this anchor tag i just want to paste bunch of more people's bunch more friends so let's go back and see yeah it all has gone right till now but when i scroll there is something happening our this both of the panels are moving along but in here when you see that our panels are not moving only the middle section is moving our middle panel to be precise is moving so what have i did there uh, the thing i did here isn't that uh, cool so to get the sticky panel we just have to define position of sticky where do oh it's not static it's sticky and where this panel is gonna stick it's gonna stick to the top of zero pixel and let's see how this all looks like okay this uh 
let's scroll but when i scroll it's moving up and let's see if uh, i give here the height and how this is gonna act like so it's 100 vs let's go and when i scroll through and it's going up moving up and our nav bar is also moving up i don't know freaking no why it's moving up but i care that it's moving up so i have to make that so in here your pages is perfectly sticky so let's just first go to our nav bar and make it more sticky in here so here I need to give it a position of first of all position of sticky into the top and now it's sticking in here but if you notice or not but here our this sticky panel is um, going up and it's coming up uh, and this one is uh, this all the posts are also going up so what is happening so for that we to solve that bug we just wanna give it the g index of as much as high as we want as we think is possible so when you scroll and it's gonna go up but if you look carefully here when i scroll it's still scrolling why is this happening mm, but uh, when i go down here to our right panel what is this so what is this right panel so here i have given the top zero pixel so it's gonna it should stick in there into the top zero pixel actually it's sticking to the top zero pixel so uh, from where uh, the top is being counted from here onwards from the top of our window that's uh, our browser's window that's being counted from the zero pixel but we already have the 60 pixel or 70 pixel high t nav bar so if i just i am just gonna place here the 70 let's see how this all works like and when i scroll it's not scrolling and that's what we wanted that's what we wanted to have we did it we did it we did it but the size but the height of this panel is too much i mean 100 vs is too much so we are just gonna remove that so how much uh, height of this panel should be so this uh, whole left panel i'll try it, sorry it's right panel should have the height from this one from this point uh, from the top 70 pixel all the way up to bottom zero pixels so uh, there is a uh, the whole windows height is being calculated as 100 ps so 100 ps is too much so what if we just subtract 170 pixel from 100 ps and that's gonna perfectly give us the size uh, what we want the uh, size of the panel what we want so it turns out that we have this uh, function called calc calc in css that's gonna do the job for us but we are not really able to see here any time if there is any change is happening or not so let's just copy this one to our left panel yeah we have to just give it same style in the left panel so so we are moving to the left panel let's just press this and let's just give it a background color of obviously red one so that is gonna be more visible more of a visible thing so in here well i scroll so just look at in here it's gonna scroll through our um, bottom zero pixel and what if i just remove this all uh, whole thing and just uh, put here 100 vs only so if i'm gonna do that come here uh, and it's gonna be it's not coming it's actually having some amount of yeah 70 pixel of this right panel is going downward so that's being clear from our red background so we are clear from that so let's just uh, keep something like this change the background color because we don't want background color there and just 
come to our right panel copy this one yeah we need to give it the same thing and we, of course we could have just uh, done something like this or let's just do something just like this okay instead of left i'm gonna have right panel and they both are having the same property so it's not gonna be that much faulty here or that much buggy because as a programmer i had bug but uh, right now at this moment we are developing a website so there we are not actually having padding so i have to keep this up instead of drawing so that we are not gonna fucked up yeah i'm just having the real thing here and what if we have more friends then um now the son here so let's just copy some of them here just go to our html page copy this item for a bunch more time or copy this two of uh, the friends for a bunch of more times so copy that paste that for four times two times uh, or, or, or any other time so in here we are having some friends but uh, actually we are not able to see the friends that are in the below so what we'll be doing is we are going here and then coming to our, our right panel here here we'll be having overflow y then scroll so that's gonna solve all the problems for us so here although we are having two scroll bars but we can scroll through our content so that's gonna be a game changer if you want or if your content is exceeding the amount of uh, uh, amount of height you are uh, you have given so in that case is gonna be really helpful so I'm just gonna remove this because I don't really care or I did not really want that one for right now so let's just save this come here and uh, why I'm removing this uh, scroll overflow why I scroll I'm why I'm not letting it to be in here remain there so that's uh, there is a strong reason that if you are able to see or not there is this scroll bar that's kind of faded out but uh, here is that mark that uh, there should be a scroll bar mm, when we are not actually having the contents to get overflowed so still there is just that scroll bar available so i'm not really i just don't wanna have that scroll bar there I'm not really a big fan of that scroll bar so I just remove that and in here also you can place that scroll bar or just go to the top so that's uh, we did the common shares for both left and right panel and in there you can just put uh, the overflow scroll or overflow y scroll remember I recommend you to put uh, overflow y scroll overflow wise is scroll I don't want you to put something like this uh, overflow scroll so if you put this one then uh, it's gonna create uh, different uh, different uh, kind of like a scroll bar so in here also you are able to see the horizontal scroll bar so this kind of this is kind of awkward thing so let's just uh, remove this course if you want a scroll bar then just and then just say that overflow why should be a scrollable thing not just uh, don't just uh, do overflow uh, scroll to all of the elements and here if you want to have a video then what you should be doing is come to here uh, where i am currently so let's come here and uh, uh, let's just copy this one uh, no no i'm not going here what i should be is uh, something like this okay 
oh yeah here yeah and here just copy this one and just paste it in here and instead of image just place video because you are gonna have video tag where when you will be using video I am not really using video for now so I'm not going to do that and uh, by doing so you will be uh, placing the video perfectly uh, with a perfect uh, ratio or with a perfect width in there so that's it for this uh, video or this part if you want that this website should have some functionalities that this uh, website should have some life to act not just a design then just comment down and if you want to have the profile profile page then just comment down below and so i'll make sure that i'll be having or i'll be posting that video if you want that profile page in there so if you want and i'll catch you up in the next one where we'll be hosting this website hooray